Hi, my name is Rachel Bush. I'm the president-elect and the faculty liaison for the League of Utah Writers. I'm gonna show you how to use the event app that we're gonna be using for the Quills Conference so you know how to navigate before the event begins. Let's get started. After you register for the event, there should be an email in your inbox labeled Quills from the Quills app team. There's an app for the Quills Conference and it will look just like this. If you're planning on using a mobile device for the conference, make sure you download the app beforehand. The Wi-Fi at the conference is not strong enough to handle a whole bunch of downloads, so make sure you do that in advance. Whether you're planning on using a mobile device or your computer for this event, you want to click on download the app. If you're in your phone, it will take you to the App Store. If you're using your computer like I am, if you click on download the app, it'll just take you to, right to the browser version of the app. And it'll look like this. The registration you use for your account is linked to the email that we have on file for you. So don't try and register using a different email address or it won't recognize you as a registered attendee. Then it'll send you an email with the verification code. So you need to pop back over to your email browser and enter this code right here. This verification code is unique for you, so don't share it with anyone. It won't do anything for them anyway. And click verify. It'll get, tell you you've logged in successfully. And you can link to your social media if you'd like to. I'm going to skip this step because I don't have social media for my test, test account. I will upload an image, though, which I recommend everyone uploading an image because um, it's important for everyone to know what other attendees look like. So as much as everyone loves pictures of cats or the covers of your books or something like that, an image of your face is probably the best choice. So I have chosen a picture of myself and I will click next. You can enter any information you want to at this point and I will be visible, not hidden, because um, if you stay visible, you will be able to play the app game and the photo scavenger hunt. So make sure you stay visible the whole time. Then it will take you to the home page, and this little window down here is going to pop up that's going to show you that you have already won points for the app game. Then let's let's walk through some of the features so you can get to be more familiar with them. First and foremost, you will want to look at the schedule. The schedule has four days, so we have Thursday the 11th, Friday the 12th, Saturday the 13th, and Sunday the 14th. So right now we are on Thursday the 11th and you can see all of these awesome events that are happening, be planning on coming and you really want to attend Graphic Design for Authors workshop, you can click a plus sign right here and that will add it to my schedule, which is on this tab up here. So you can track what you're, what you're gonna attend every day. So instead of going through a full schedule every day, you'll just have the things that you wanna highlight. So I wanna highlight that one workshop, and I will also be attending the board meeting, which is open to the public. And I also am going to the opening mixer. And I also plan on going to the registration desk to get registered before the workshop. So make sure you plan on that. So now if I go over to my schedule, it will show me all of the things that I have scheduled for Thursday. It will show me I don't have anything scheduled for Friday or Saturday or Sunday yet, but we'll get to that. Um, let's check out this class right here, Morning Meditation and the Writer's Wellbeing. This is a session, and it, there's a description here. There's a description of the speaker. There's a survey, which I want you to take every single time you have a class. I would really love for you to take the survey afterward. That really helps us plan for future events. There's also a, a PDF here, which you can click this download button, and it will bring up the PDF and show you everything you need to know for this session. Click the back button to get back to this page. Um, and again, like if you take a session with a speaker and you say, oh wow, I loved Johnny Worthen's class, you can go to his bio directly through here and it'll show you everything that he's doing, everything he's presenting at. It will show you all of his book covers that are in here and everything else. And then also, if you are curious about where this event is being held, you can click on this little tab right here that shows you where on the map it will show you. So you can zoom out and you can get an idea of the whole conference. So um, if you are, if you just want to stay in Fort Douglas where this class is being held, here are the other classes you'll be able to find in there on Friday. 
And then here are the classes starting on Saturday. And then there's also classes in there on Sunday. One more thing I'd like to point out in the schedule is when sessions are live streamed and when they are not. Let's say at the 10 o'clock time, there are multiple classes that you really wanted to watch. There are several of them that are gonna be live streaming, but there are a couple that are not going to be live streamed. So build your story roadmap with Save the Cat and short story prep and submission. If you're attending in person and you can't decide between these two classes, the maybe the best way to do that would be to go to this one in person and to watch this live streaming one later because all of these sessions that are live streamed, they will have a live streaming link so you can join it. But also after the conference is over, all of these videos will be embedded in the app so you can go back and watch them at a later date. That's a basic overview of the schedule and handouts and all that sort of stuff. If this is your first time attending the Quills Conference, I highly recommend you attend the new attendee orientation and also plan on attending the opening ceremony and there's a bunch of other stuff. And the bookstore, of course, is a really great place to find all the books that are being offered by our um, presenters. They're all gonna be found in the bookstore. So this is wonderful. That's a basic overview of the schedule. Here is an overview of the pitches. With, at the Quills Conference, we have 15 agents and editors who are acquiring various types of manuscripts. So here is detailed information about what happens if you bought a pitch in advance, if you registered with one beforehand and uh, you're not sure what happens next, here's what happens. Here's how you add a pitch. Here is detailed instructions for if you're pitching in person, here are detailed instructions if you're pitching virtually because we have agents who are taking virtual and in-person pitches. And then if you want to see more information about what each agent or editor is acquiring, then you can click on this tab on the, one of these pictures that are below. And you can see that Stacy Kambla with the Rights Factory is seeking and her list is very extensive. So if you have a manuscript that checks one of these boxes, then come and check her out. And you can scroll through what all of these agents and editors are looking for. So we have so many, so many to choose from. And they will, they will be when you go to purchase this pitch you can either you'll either see that they are virtual or in person or both and you can choose this the time slot like a 3 to 4 p.m slot and then we pick the volunteers pick a time for you within that time block that will be um, something that we schedule around the speakers tab is going to lead you to a detailed list alphabetically by first name of all of the speakers we have coming to the conference. So you can see exactly what they are offering, when they are offering it. So let's look at Catherine's profile. She is, here's her bio. Here are the presentations that she is teaching. And here are the handouts that she has for any of her classes. If there's a presenter that you find is really wonderful, you can bookmark them and come back to them later. The attendee list will show you everyone who is attending the conference, either virtually or in person. When you click on a profile, and this is my real profile, but if you click on a person, you can add them to, the, to your contacts and it says, are you sure? And I say, yes, confirm. And then it will say that we're waiting for approval. And you say, okay, because you have to have consent with the other person. You can send a message to this person and you can send messages. You, you earn points for that too. And I'll discuss what the points are for in a moment. You can also schedule a meeting with this person. If you sit next to them during a session and you want to continue your conversation, scheduling a meeting with them is a really great way to do that. You can add a description like meet me in uh, ballroom one at, on this date at this time and do all that kind of stuff. You can create one of those sessions in there. It's wonderful. And it'll show up in the other person's my schedule. So this is a great way to connect with other attendees. If at any time during the conference, you have questions about how the app works or about uh, if you need to contact the uh, conference committee or anyone who was involved, if you need to connect, connect with me in there, there's information here. Um, most of this is about is information that's about how to use the app. 
So if you still have questions, this is a great place to do that. The code of conduct is something I want everyone to keep in mind while they are attending a conference. These are basic guidelines. And if you find someone who is not following these guidelines or someone who's making you uncomfortable, please reach out to volunteers. Volunteers will have yellow badges at the conference and report what happened as soon as possible. If you don't feel comfortable talking to a volunteer, just email this address right here and report it. The virtual bookstore is a really great way for you to see all of the books that our presenters have to offer. So you can see, here's a book by KB Wagers, and there is a buy link here that will open up a new tab and show you exactly how you can buy this book, description of the book and everything about it. And I wanted to give you a heads up that the virtual bookstore is going to play very heavily into the scavenger hunt, which I'll talk about in a moment. The activity feed is a great place for you to add images or messages I am going to post here and you can see that there are built-in uh, hashtags that are ready for you. So you just type in your message. So I just added a message here. Who's excited for quills? I'm gonna share this. It will pop up here. I get points for sharing and other people can come in here and like and comment on these, which is a really great way for everyone inside of the app to interact with each other. So it's a it's an awesome thing. I highly recommend it. The social wall is going to show any kind of social media posts that use our hashtags. They'll show up here automatically. So during the event, if you're sharing on Twitter or on Facebook and you're using the hashtags that we have, which are the same ones that are here that automatically go in there, which is hashtag League of Utah Writers, hashtag Quills 2022, hashtag Writing to Change the World, hashtag Quills Conference 22, and hashtag Quills 22. If you use any of those, they'll show up automatically in our social wall. So that's pretty fun. Okay, next is the um, app game. And that's what those little red bars that you get that have been popping up. So it's telling you all of the things that you can earn points on. And we will give a small prize to the top few winners of this, um, of, the, of the leaderboard. So it'll show you exactly what needs to be done. So if you wanted to add more sessions, you get more points for that. Uh, if you edit your app profile, you can earn points for that. It'll show you everything that you need to do where you can earn more points. It's just basically just using the app gives you points and it's fun. And if you're really competitive, then it's a great way for you to play and win. The photo scavenger hunt is not live yet, but it will start Thursday morning, August 11th at 8 a.m. And there will be a lot of really fun, interactive photo opportunities for you to post here for games. And the person who wins the photo scavenger hunt is going to get a ticket to Quills 2023. When you're completely done with the conference, I would love for you to fill out this overall Quills feedback. This is a survey that helps us figure out what you liked about the conference, what you wish was better, if you like the location, all of those things. We, but we really need you to uh, give us some feedback on that. We would really appreciate it. Then there's the president's message. Our president, Brian Young, wrote this message and it is all about you know, writing and the conference and why you're here and why he's glad you're here. So make sure you give that a, a look. It's wonderful. The souvenir program will be right here. You can download them there if you wanted to keep these for future years as a reference or if you just wanted to have something or if you wanted to print it to have on hand because some people really like to be able to hold paper that's here for you as well here is a list of our sponsors and grant partners i want you all to go and visit and uh, thank them because our sponsors and grant partners have made this conference possible and we would really like to um, thank them so here is our title sponsor fiction and there's a video you can watch. You can find them at vendor table number six, which if you click on this map, it'll show you exactly where that is. Oh, there it is, right outside of ballroom one. That's where that will be held. And you can find out more information about them. There's contact information, their Twitter, their LinkedIn. So you can read all of their profiles. You can also see our vendors. We have some really great vendors and it will show you exactly where they are at the conference, again, same ways with sponsors and grant partners. 
you can go in and um, and check out where they are and, and read more about them. Friends of the League are sister organizations. Be sure to check them out and see what they have to offer. And then of course, there are the maps. You can either go to the city map and then the Marriott map, which tells you exactly where it is. I don't know why it shows it's so far over on one corner, but there it is. Do you see all of these spots that have these little red dots? Well, if you click on those, it will tell you exactly what's being held in that room. So let's see what's in Summit. It will show you on Thursday and then Friday and then Saturday and Sunday, all of the sessions that are gonna be held in that room. So if you're really interested in finding something or let's say you forget something in that room, you forget like your charging cable and you leave it in that room and you wanna go see if that room is available or if you're gonna be interrupting a session, this is a great way to find out what's on the schedule for that room. The last thing I wanna show you is this little drop down menu right here called My Items. If you're using your mobile device, this is gonna look like a hamburger menu with what will look like three little lines in the upper left-hand corner. So the navigation icons will be slightly different than this, but um, here is where you can find my schedule, which again, we built my schedule, which is wonderful. This is where you can track your messages and they will pop up here. If you scheduled an appointment with another attendee, this is where they will show up and your contacts will show up here. It'll show you any notes because in the, in the app, you can actually take notes for, for each of the classes. If you feel like you don't want to write things down or you don't want to open a Word doc or a Google doc, and keep track of things, you can actually take notes directly in the app. And then they'll save here and then you can export them later. Then you can also see your bookmarks. Like I was showing you earlier, if you find a presenter that you really like, you can bookmark them and they'll show up here. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. I hope you have a wonderful conference. If you have any questions about anything to do with this app, I need you to reach out to me at faculty at leagueofutahwriters.org. I'm here to answer your questions, and I look forward to seeing you at the Quills Conference. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.